Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle for Ed, and welcome back to X4 Foundations in the Tides of Avarice. Now, in the last episode, uh, we had got ourselves stuck uh, in, uh, in, oh, where was it? Avarice. Well, not sort of Avarice, it was, it was over here in Leap of Faith. Uh, but as you can see, I'm no longer in Leap of Faith, I'm in Argon Prime, therefore I got out of Leap of Faith. Uh, and that was uh, because uh, I just went back via the same... Um, the same hole in space that I'd, I'd found the anomaly uh, that led us back into Avarice. And then I very quickly went through the Avarice sectors uh, and through the Windfall sectors, full of the Syndicate, who wants us dead now, uh, because those troublesome brothers uh, decided to put a bounty on our heads, which is really unfortunate, because it means that all of these sectors are completely um, out of our ability to actually do anything with them uh which is not fine, very good but uh, you know what can you do about that well you can go in there and destroy a few things for example this station we need to destroy this station uh but there's a lot of ships around here and i do not fancy taking them all on so until i am ready to take on all of that we are stuck outside that area but I have been very busy since last time, uh, and uh, what I've been doing since last time is I've been grabbing loads of um, these, which are wonderful ships, wonderful ships, uh, the Prometheus, uh, which is a buccaneer ship, uh, and it has like three front guns and two turrets, uh, no, three turrets. So, so it's got three front guns and three turrets, and I've been getting them all from over here. Is that another one? No, it isn't. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, right, so the reason why I've been getting them all from over here is because this was... It, it just seemed to be that this sector, it just likes to churn out these Prometheuses like mad. I don't know if there's a, a, a wharf or something in there. Uh, I'm going to have to search it better. Because you can see I've only searched a little bit, and I feel like there, there might be something in there. I've searched Heretic, um, Heretic's End quite a lot. Uh, there's there, I, I, I need to search it more, but I don't think that there's anything else in there. So, uh, yeah, that sector's, that sector's boring. Uh, I've been trying to do research, uh, and one of the things that I've come across is this. Oh, I've sold all of my weapon components. Ah. That was not me, I can tell you. I've been trying to get weapon components so that I can get the final bit of this research, but my universe is practically devoid of weapon components. Um, they're, they're just not there. Uh, and uh, so because they're not there, they it's, it's exceptionally difficult to get any weapon components. And my blooming station manager has decided to sell the ones that I'd got. Uh, ooh, I'm very displeased with my station manager. So what I'm going to do, uh, because I am I am having this issue where there's no there's no weapon components anywhere. There's a lot of things that they just they just aren't around. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start building them uh, because we can't have a situation where we can't find half of the things that we want. So I'm going to make a big area well when i say big it's it's big enough right ah you can actually see how much it costs as you go around why does that area cost more hmm oh is it because it's nearer that gate that doesn't actually do anything why would it hmm questions i know we'll stick it here because that's sort of in between the uh, the wharf and the shipyard uh, so oh heck no Go back. Uh, I want to. I want to actually buy the thing. Wow, that was close. <laughs> yes, buy that thing. Wait, no, buy that thing. Very good. Nearly bought myself another sector, uh, another place there. All right, so now we can start our factory. Not paying is seen as an aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I paid. I paid. You saw me pay. I just. I literally just paid. Go away. Right. Uh, so we're going to add docks for this place, and I'm going to want loads of docks for this place, because if it's going to have loads of ships going to it, then I want tons of docks. Let's have four. Yeah, let's have four. And then let's have one of these. I don't want that there. Ah. Now then, if I put it there, 
Can I select all of these and move them at the same time? I can! Brilliant! Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, that's that's really good. Good, 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 good. Uh, now, we want storage. So, let's get some storage. I want containers. Yes. No. Wait, I want large containers. Uh, I admittedly... I bought the large containers uh, designs. I didn't actually just grab them as I probably should have, but no, I bought them. Uh, uh, they, they were they were um, just there, and I figured, you know what? I'm just buying them. Let's have it like this. Let's have it like actually symmetrical, because I kind of like having things symmetrical. All right, so what else do I need? Uh, well, I definitely need containers. Yes, I might need solids. I don't know. Let's go for solids, because we can. Uh, let's have it around here. Yes, very good. Now, now what? Uh, now we need other modules, so let's have some of these. This is going to be a big place. A very big place, by the looks of it. Well, I say that. <laughs> I know that other people have massive places, humongous structures with virtually everything you could imagine on them, so maybe not the biggest of places, but, you know, big in my eyes anyway. Uh, right, so what do we need? We need the um, the weapon components, definitely, because they are, they are the thing they are. Like, would you just put it there? Thank you. Good. Uh, and then another weapon components. I'm going to have two weapon components there. And... Hull parts. Hull parts are another thing that are completely missing from my universe. Uh, it's just... Uh, not, no well, no hull parts here. Uh, so yeah, we'll have hull parts there and there. Actually, it looks like we could put a thing in the middle of these. Yes. Which means we could put another one in the middle of those. And having done that... I can then put the whole parts there again, all parts there, and, 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 and then have more of the weapon components on the other side. Hooray! Yes, this is going to cost a lot. It's got to. <laughs> this is lots of stuff. I'll just confirm that so that if I mess up anything, I don't, I don't lose it all. Okay, fifteen million. Well, that's not bad, is it? No, that's not bad at all. Okay. Uh, so, whilst we're doing things, let's consider these. Let's consider some some energy cells. I can't put it there. Okay. Right. Can I put it the other way? Is this something that can be done? Yes. Wonderful. Okay. So, we have one of those. Copy that module. Let's have it over there as well. Brilliant. It's looking bizarre. That's, that's wonderful. <laughs> Now what? Uh, let's see. We've got the we've got two energy cells. We've got three of those and three of those. Should I just leave it at that for now? Uh, I mean, I don't have tons of other things, so I don't know whether I should have tons of other things. Uh, hmm. Let's let's go for having some of the um, refined metals because I feel like we're going to need refined metals as well. Let's put a thing on each one of these. No, no, no. Yeah. That's just that's how, how I wanted it. Right, now then. Uh, what was it I was going for? I was going for refined metals. That's the one. Right, now, if I'm going to have refined metals, what does it attach to? It attaches to this bottom bit. Right, so then I can put it there. and I can, No, no, that's not what I wanted. Never mind. Uh, we'll put it there for now. And, that, and then we'll be here. Good. Uh, and the same with this. We'll copy it. What was that? What What did I just do? Heck. No idea. Never mind. We've got the refined metal thing there. So we've got two refined metals. Great. It's kind of looking like some sort of weird crab beast, isn't it? Never mind. It's uh, it's it's looking kind of fun. So that's, that's all good. Uh, and I don't know what else I need to attach to it. Hmm. I've already got whole parts, so that's fine. Uh, missile components, tempting, very tempting. I don't know how the missile components are going on in our universe. This is a good design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this design, I think. Uh, can I save this design? Load plans, no. Select a name and save the current construction plan, yes. Let's have this as what's not there, because uh, this is the, the thing of basically what is not there. 
because that's that's this is the same it, every single place in the universe seems to be lacking the uh, the weapon components the hull parts uh, and the, the refined metals that seems to be just what it is I don't know what this station's missing it's bound to be missing something uh, so I will I will have to deal with that later let's confirm that now we need to hire hire some unfortunate craft to uh, to take care of our station uh, so who's going to take care of our station ah there is an argon mammoth great let's do that one I don't want one of the ones that doesn't like us because they don't like us uh, actually the riptide people don't mind us that's not a problem I am going to need a station manager but obviously things need to be built first so that's 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 all good hmm our station will be amazing potentially no what am I doing I don't want to cancel anything are you sure you want to discard the current changes? What current changes? Just confirmed module stuff. Right. That's all confirmed. That's all confirmed too. Ah! I needed to add extra cash. That's alright. That's fine. That's fine. So I can now close this. Yay! All done! And we've paid the fee! It says we've paid the fee! Where are all these? That's one factory. Yes. And that's the other factory. That's good. Okay, so both of those factories are done. This other factory is a hull parts factory. Uh, yeah, that's for undercutting uh, via the, uh, the... And I forgot about that because uh, if I'd have done that, I might not have put the hull parts on the other one. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's it's done now. Uh, and this is part of one of the the, um, the Terran missions to undercut the, uh, the Argons in the area. So yes, we're doing quite well. I'm very pleased with this. Uh, you've got tons of cash. We've got 164 um, million. Uh, and what I've been doing other than all of that uh, in, 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 in the meanwhile is I've been improving my ships. Uh, because I've been getting these Prometheuses, these Prometheuses, uh, they have a tendency to be covered in mods. Uh, because they're the buccaneers and the buccaneers they like to stick mods all over their ships so our ships are now modified this is really good this is it was uh, Shijin who told me to do this and that is to just put one of a few wares on your ships and if you put one of a few wares on the ships then the pirates whenever they see you they're like "Ooh, you've got something cool in your ship and I want that so they they, uh, they try to uh, they try to take you out as such you can attract pirates uh, and that's uh, that's brilliant for uh, for actually getting to have pirates uh, because you can you can get them so uh, what have i modified my ship with well you can see that the the, uh, the the katana that we're flying currently is quite heavily modified uh, in the way that it's got a um a tenacity mod for the 100 percent um hazard issue problem being solved uh, and uh, it, it's got the it's also got a ship uh, a ship maximum hull has been increased which is nice I've stuck a load of, uh, of damage mods on my weapons it does do negative things on a lot of these weapons but uh, at the same time it puts loads of damage on the weapons so I'm kind of forgiving them uh, the the shield it's now got a Pavis mod on it, which allows us to have 62%, well, nearly 63% um, more shielding. And the maximum is 70, so oh, oh, 63, I thought, you know, it's near enough, near enough, so that's fine. Uh, we've also got the Slingshot Forward Thrust mod for our, um, for our um, engine. Uh, which means that we do all of these wonderful things down here, uh, which is 20% uh, faster um, forward momentum. Uh, we have engine straight, uh, engine straight thrust of extra rotation. This uh, is extra everything. Uh, and it wasn't just my um, my personal ship that I improved. I also improved our um, Delilah's Swan Song. Uh, the Delilah Swan Song is covered in bolters by the looks of it. I think I might want to change that because I don't really want it to be covered in just bolters. I might change them all to flak if I can because uh, flak cannons are uh, are my favourite. Oh, if I change them all to flak I'll have to redo all of the things. Ah! Uh, uh, anyway, I've taken the, um, the um, ship's mass down. 
uh, and its drag has been reduced. Uh, and I've also given it the same sort of Pavis model. It's, it's one sixty-five percent, so nearly sixty-six percent. So that's very good. Uh, and uh, again, the forward thrust um, mod because I do like the uh, the forward thrust mod. That one's mostly concentrated on the engine boosting speed, the travel speed, mostly actually, uh, to increase its travel speed. Talking about the travel speed of our of our ships, uh, this particular my my personal fighter now can go at 11,000 uh, kilometers, or no, meters a second or, or, or for its speed. So it's really super fast in, uh, in its travel speed, but uh, it has to be said that it needs a massive run up to get to that speed and the likelihood of ever getting to that speed is exceptionally small. Unless you're deciding to go to a edge of the sector type area. Wow, there's a lot of Xenon over there. Hmm, I should probably move over there and start killing them. That would be a good idea. Uh, yeah, it, unless you uh, are going a really far out bit in the sector, like you're trying to extend this sector, then I'm, ne I'm never going to get to that so it's top speed. Never. It's just not going to happen. Uh, right. Now, as I said, this uh, this problem with the whole parts and the uh, the weapon components is everywhere across the universe. It's not just in Argon space. It's uh, it's Paranid space. And it's just everywhere. You just can't get them. Uh, and the same problem with the uh, with the split areas, which, by the way, are now infested with Xenon. I really need to get making some ships to uh, to actually come in and clear these Xenon out because uh, obviously. If your universe is being taken over by Xenon, then that's a bad problem, that is. Oh dear, family newts going down. That's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, yeah, okay, so we, we will have to do something about that sometime soon. But, well, there's still some split left in the universe, I think would, <laughs> it would be a good idea. Uh, I don't really want my universe taken over by the Xenon. Why is it continually giving me this? I've, I've done that thing. Go away. Uh, I'm still selling... The what am I selling? Ah, I'm still selling the um, the advanced satellites at every single opportunity I get. So I'm I'm uh, continually just buying uh, all of the satellites from this place. Like oh dear, I'm not going to buy no 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 I'm not going to buy them at that. What the heck? Why are they that pricey? They've not been that pricey in ages. Oh I see. No I don't. Yes I do. No. Don't know. Yeah, I think that I think that they're just about to sell them or, some, or something. I don't know. They, they, they usually, usually that's at forty six. So maybe I'm doing it too quickly. I don't know. I have got seven um, fighter ships doing the trading of the satellites. So that's uh, that's kind of um, hmm. that's a lot of satellites being traded all at the same time. Uh, so yeah, that's probably a little bit problematic. Now our uh, main station, I've been upgrading that, um, and it's been similarly upgraded to that station that we just made. Uh, it's uh, it's it's got extras. We already had the refined metals. We already had the weapon components there. But I've added the missile components because I figured missile components. Yes. So we're, we're making the missile components. And the, um, the mission to make uh, the stuff that the um, people of Avarice need to keep their station safe... Uh, we we got the blueprints for storing that um, particular stuff, and as we have got the blueprints for storing that particular stuff, we are now building the storage for that particular stuff. Uh, so hopefully, uh, I'll get that going quite nicely. And I've stuck a defense module on an, an administration module on there because I want to find that I have um, people at my station. By the way, I've. I've been making some habitats underneath it as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to get people at my station uh, that are marines because I want to cover a ship with with good marines. Uh, and marines are really pricey. But if you can make it so that you have your own station and they have they they then then the marines are almost 
in inevitably free. So I'm trying to make free marines to fill out my my uh, my ships, which is the Delilah's. Uh, uh, definitely, the Delilah's swan song is going to be the one that I'm going to fill out because it's it's good. It's very very good. Uh, it's uh, let's see, how's its shielding doing at the moment? Uh, where is its stats information? And we have, yeah, the shields are now at 345,000. That's lots of shield. Uh, and why is it only 99%? That's weird. Okay. Uh, and the hull is at 119. That's not the biggest of hull uh, amount. Uh, we'll do, but never mind. I need to buy a load more... Um, uh, crew members are quite good as well because uh, obviously if I have a good like half and half but potentially with the uh, with the number of people there if I have a good crew uh, as well as uh, good marines I've only got two able crewmen at the moment which is just no good at all uh, so if I fill it fill it with loads of uh, of them ah, 50 maybe maybe I'll go up to the 87 and then have a hundred marines that are all veteran, then, then the ship will be ready for taking over uh, other ships and uh, and being just generally amazing around the universe. So yeah, that is what I've been up to since the last episode, since the um, these horrors over here, the syndicates, uh, have decided that I'm the enemy. I am preparing for uh, setting up and going back into their sectors again. And that's uh, that's that's it's that's that's all the time I've got for now. So I shall come back to you in the next episode, where uh, hopefully some of these uh, places will be on the on the uh, map by then, uh, and producing something. And I'll have actually sorted my station out, so it's not selling all of the things that I'm trying to build up. Anyhow, I shall catch you then. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye now.